We don't need to become a politician's republic to get an Australian head of state. We've already got one, the Governor General. Here you see the Governor General going down the Champs-Élysées in Paris as the Australian head of state. And he's being received as a respected head of state with a mounted guard Republican riding in front of a motorcycle escort with the rest of the guard Republican following him. He's the Australian head of state. In fact, whenever the Governor General is sent on a state visit, the Australian government, the ministers, the politicians, always expect the government of the foreign country to receive the Governor General as the Australian head of state. Now, no Australian politician complained about this reception to the French. No one said, oh, you've made a mistake. He's not our head of state. But politicians will often tell you he isn't our head of state. They only do that for an ulterior purpose. It's when they're pushing the politicians' republic, which they're trying to push through to increase the power of the politicians. So when the plebiscite a shortened government is threatening, they'll try and trick you into believing that we don't already have an Australian as head of state. ACM has been saying this for decades from before the referendum and consistently since, just like every Australian government. Don't trust the politicians. Vote no to the politicians' republic. Remember, we've already got an Australian head of state, the Governor-General. And don't believe the politicians when they're not telling the truth. This picture tells a thousand words. Until next time, I'm David Flint from Australians for Constitutional Monarchy.